Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2020 Career Mode, episode number 19. We're at the UAE Tour. This is our first ever World Tour race for our team. We are horribly overmatched. Odds on favorites. We're not even in the top 25, even though I have a couple sprinters here for a stage like this. So as we approach 10 and a half K to go in the stage. I've got to set up my sprint trade and prove the odds makers wrong and see if we can't at least score a top 10. That's the target. Alves Machado is our best sprinter with 77 acceleration. So we will line him up. But instead of Germain leading him out today, Rodriguez has a plus five giving him a 70-70, but excellent stamina and resistance. Really good flat ready to go with it. So Germain on the minus two, instead of being the lead out man like he should be, he'll go one step further up the order. And then everybody else is, well, not looking so good. So for Mark, has pretty good flat rating. Zeta has some excellent flat ratings. So we'll put him up there. And then... For Mark there. Uh, meanwhile, Tintani, hopeful for the overall. We want to make sure he doesn't get dropped. So he'll just tag on to the back for a free ride. And Moreno will uh, set us up. Come on, Moreno. He is Moreno is really bad about getting through the pack. He's been getting water for me recently with this group. And he cannot seem to uh, find his way through the pack without multiple issues. And you see with how long it took him to get here. We're already down inside 6k already. Jeez. Uh, and he's still not even to the front. And everybody else is struggling to get through the field because of the gaps that he's setting. So that was not... A good setup by uh, Moreno there. We had 10k to go. It took him 5k to get to the front. Two and a half k. Wow, it's going so fast. Okay, Zeta, sprint. There we go. The sprint is on. The riders has set. Good flat rating. He's not meant to be sprinting though, so we need to go on to uh, Sherman. Come on, Sherman, Sherman. Sherman's out there, but uh, nobody else is. Rodriguez. Alves Machado got swallowed. Rodriguez, he won't make up the gap. Sherman's going to be up there, but he will get a top 10. Gaviria takes a win ahead of Caleb Ewan and Matthew Vanderpool. Sherman takes 8th. Alves Machado never got clear of the pack, and so he got stuck in the mix. That's going to be the kind of issue I'm going to face with this one, is we just don't have enough pace to even get out of the pack and get to the front to get the all-important riding position. Breakaway was just caught with 45 kilometers to go, all 174 riders in the peloton. Feels like a good time to attack, but I'm just yeah, pretty weak to try to do something like that. But I, I am very tempted, and Rodriguez actually is my one guy right now who's got a little bit of stamina, who's got a little bit of everything. So why not? Let's see if we can put him out into the break, and you this never know. Maybe the if the field is busy battling itself. He could go and claim something. He's 30 seconds away already. We'll see if that uh, continues to grow. 50 seconds. So profile here on stage two is we are looking at a punchy finish. We did a little climbing there. It's uphill, but not quite three here. And then you've got a double climb at the end to the finish of the stage. So we are set up for our punchy riders to go for it today. Of course, Tintani's still riding for the overall. Uh, the sprinters are going to get There's used up early in this one. Minute 20 now for Rodriguez. He's going to get 
some time to try to recover here. Some team Thirty-three k to go. He's doing fifty-five k per hour. And we're seeing a little fluctuation in speed in the pack, but they do seem to be closing in on him slightly at the moment. And he's burning through energy pretty quick, so I don't think he's going to be able to hold this. The pack is putting the squeeze on the breakaway. Twenty-five k to go. They've pulled back another ten seconds on him. A couple of teams have set them Still a minute, but he's almost out of energy, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up, save what he's got left. So he can at least give us a little bit of a lead out when he gets back into the field. 45 seconds, 20k banner. I'm going to be setting everybody else up here pretty soon. We don't want to attack early, but we want to get into that stronger position. Alright, Rodriguez, go ahead and use your gel. They're about to pull you in. There we go. Let's do this now. 16k, so it's still early. We're not going to go flat out or anything like that. So Tentani, catching free ride. Instead of Zeta, we're going for Vermark because he's got a plus 3. Very strong. 79 hill rating, 72 mountain, 79 resistance today. Zeta will lead him out. Alves Machado, this would be a really good day, but he's just got really poor mountain and hill rating. These guys will be going early. That means Marino is that next one. No 99 for you, but let's try an 86. Where does that put you? Now we're already starting to see a little acceleration by the field, so 86 is not fast enough. 15 kilometers remaining. Rodriguez did his job. He gave us almost 3k. Jamon brings us to the front. Chell just now kicking in. We'll slow it down a little bit. He's where we need to be. We're not trying to attack this. We're just trying to establish a strong position and see if we can hold it a bit. Okay, Jamon struggling up the hill. He's got a really poor hill rating. There's a sustained rhythm at the moment. Some riders definitely won't be able to keep up. There's now just 10 kilometers left. Right, come on. Over the top, little descent, so we'll keep him on the front for a little bit while everybody else recovers. In fact, he's actually recovering himself a little bit. I think this is where we start to go uphill again, so we'll go on to uh, Alves Machado. Jamon done. Five kilometers remaining. Okay, let's use the rest of these gels. Alright, 2.8k. Under 2k. Reno speeding up. 1.2k. Come on, Zeta. Come on, Zeta. Strong position here. 700 meters. For Mark. For Mark. For Mark. He's going to run out of energy just before the finish, and Shockman's going to get him. But we'll take a second place here. It was only about 10 meters from the finish. Shockman just had him on pace. But excellent result. Second place. See if there's any time gaps in the field. I have no idea if there will be or not. The riders bringing up their uh, there was a good chance there's a time gap right there. This stage was a real strength yep. Down here they're showing it after the fact. So hopefully it does show up. And we get that field split up a bit. Titani follows in 23rd. Moreno takes 29th. So close, so close. Almost got a win on a little tour stage. 
That would have been huge. Zeta took ninth. Tintani 23rd. There's your time gap right after 36th. So for Mark into second place on the race right now. As far as World Tour races go, this is classified as a punchy stage. As far as a team like mine goes, this is anything but a punchy stage. This is going to be for the climbers, so Tantani will be our leader today. We will ride in support of him, punchers out front. Well, sprinters out front, then punchers, then climbers as we go on through. So 25k to go. Breakaway's already been caught. There are sprint points available, but I'm worried about survival, not about stealing seconds. Tentani, though, plus five race day condition today. We really, really lucked out. Perfect, perfect timing for that. 20k to go. We are going to uh, first ride as support units and try to keep up, and then just one by one, everybody uh, filter down and support. So... I am going to put a couple riders at least trailing Tintani. Uh, who is my, like, for Mark? For Mark's going to trail Tintani. So that way he doesn't drop back. He'll waste some energy. But his support rider, Germain, Tintani's support rider, he'll fade away before Vermark gets dropped. So Vermark will at least be able to just kind of flip at that point and protect Tintani. So this is it. Here we go. So 13k to go on the stage. We're already about to start the climb and that's that's punchy. Now 12k to go and you can already see we're starting to go up a little bit. It's ramping up a little more. And here we go. 10.9 kilometers, 1100 meters, 7.5% average gradient for my team. That's huge. <laughs> That's huge. This is going to be really tough. I'm going to see a lot of guys blinking red. Uh, Alves, use your gel. German, use your gel. Uh, Rodriguez, use your gel. Zeta, what are you doing way back here? What happened? Oh, yeah, your support rider is dropping back. That's what. And you just don't have the greatest pace. We're going to have to speed you up a little bit. Try to keep up. Already down to 6k. Covered some ground already. Uh, let's now flip this. Because your man is uh, done, so. Use up your red bar a little bit, but we're buying Tintani a little more time on the climb. Your support, though, they're all dropping away, unfortunately, so. Too hot for certain riders. 5k to go. Moreno, we're going to speed you. You know what? Let's use Moreno to protect Zeta. Shimon? Oh, Shimon. There we go. These two have been dropped. Set them to auto. Peloton, 132 riders. 3.5k to go. We're, we're getting close to the end. Uh, Rodriguez, still there, but he's done. Zeta and Moreno have actually caught up, and I could make a little four-man sprint train here and go for it. Let's exclude Rodriguez. Set this up now. For Marks at the front, we'll be going out first. I think I still need to follow. I think Zeta actually might make it. I think he might make it. Okay, 
So for Mark, we're going to hold position, 99. Whoa, 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 how'd you get down that low? For Mark, no, no, no. Come on, Moreno. Come on, Moreno. Get through, get through, get through. I need you to take over. You're about to go. Starting to see the attacks forming. So Moreno's pushing through. Tani pulling it up, one and a half K. And it's a swift acceleration by Maximilian Schachmann. Uh, Zeta just got destroyed. Tintani, final kilometer. Yes, victory for Maximilian Schachmann. Points. We're waiting for the Go. back. Wow, Schachmann. Schachmann takes the win ahead of Barguil. Lopez, Conrad, Carthy, Valverde, De Moulin. They're all here. Wow. Tony's going to have a good result. Red bar is gone, but he's got just a little yellow left. Twentieth. Not bad, not bad. Set at 39th, Marino 45th. For Mark 60th, Rodriguez 100th. We've selected the following highlights for you. So Shockman not only wins, but gains a little bit of time, and then the next group comes in at 9 seconds. we got a group at 27. Tintani makes it into that group. Nice. Okay. That's good for the GC. And Donnie now in 12th place in a small group from 8th to 17th overall. Here we go again. It's stage number 5 now. Stage 4 was a sprint. Didn't participate. We got a top 10. I was really proud of that. We're not going to do any better than that. So now with 17 kilometers to go, there's still four riders two minutes away. Uh, it's definitely worthy of note, but we're going to set ourselves up and see who's the one this time. It's Rodriguez. Rodriguez, you're going to follow Tintani. And I'm actually, you know what? I am going to change this up a little bit. So uh, I want another writer. We're going to take a couple of these guys off. Uh, we want Marino. Or Zeta, who's looking awesome today. It's going to be Zeta. It's going to be Zeta, even though he's only a 73. And you get a 74 from Moreno. We're going to take Zeta. Zeta's going to have to keep up the pace, but he's got good stamina and resistance. And Moreno, you're going to follow here. For Mark, you're going to follow here. So we have two teams of riders. They're moving along at a fair and Zeta's just, just going to have to try to work hard to keep up. But he's got a 73, 77. To the so he'll line. certainly be able to keep a good pace. So we're riding two riders right now with guys either f protecting or following. And as we're about to begin climbing, let's start with Jermon Alves on Protect. That gap's already down to a minute, so the field pulled back a minute in that short amount of time. 10.8 kilometers, 1,000 meters of climbing, 7.2% average gradient. Very, very similar to Stage 3. Uh, Jermon already starting to fade. Alves Machado, same. So we're going to very quickly now switch this off. Tony, let's go to an 88. Moreno, you're now going to protect. And then who was the one back here? You're going to protect. So that means you're going to use your gel. You're going to use your gel, 7.4. The 
the escapees have surrendered. Breakaway is done. No it's in such percentages that the strongest can create some gaps. Alright, we're holding position much better so far this time. There are just five kilometers left. 4.8. We are starting to see an attack this time, though. Argyll going for the win. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about a high placement GC trying to get like a top 10 or something. Okay, Rodriguez is doing a little worse than Moreno. So I'm going to switch these two back and we're going to use Rodriguez for a little bit. Use up what he's got. 3.4. Zeta is now out front. Vermark's going to be done pretty soon, and then Zeta's going to be able to take over. Those guys up front aren't going to be making too many Rodriguez is going to start to fade here. It hasn't yet. We're down to 2.5. 2.3. Okay. Excluding you. Excluding you. Here we go. So I have Zeta can still go do something, but Titani needs to follow. Okay, and then we have Moreno. And Rodriguez, you can use you can use you to close the gap to Vermark. Vermark though, you're gonna have to immediately accelerate. Okay, that's it for him. Rodriguez. Crap, that's. Okay, Moreno. Moreno, you're going. Uh, this is not going to work. You're going to protect. Shoot, how do we want to do this? Zeta's at the front. Zeta needs to be the front. So Zeta. So Tintani's going to follow Zeta. Rodriguez. Uh, Moreno. Never mind. Let's let's try this again. So Rodriguez, protect Tintani with what you have left. Moreno, protect Zeta. And uh, we gotta move forward an inch. There you go. Moreno, protect Zeta. Rodriguez, protect Tintani. Tintani, can you follow Zeta? So his last gels. Okay, Zeta. Go with whatever you have left. You're gonna help Tintani. He doesn't have a lot of energy here, so. 1k to go. Gel's kicking in. Tintani. A solo victory for Barguil. Barguil. Barguil takes the win. Lopez second. Gaudu third. Zeta's coming back at Tintani here as Tintani fades. Your top 10 will be in the top 20 again. Zeta takes 18th, Tentani 20th with uh, Gil Martin right in between them. Really good, really good result. From where we are in reality, doing pretty dang good here. Now for the best moments of the day. Argyle's breakaway pays off as he claims the win. Lopez, the strongest climber, then beats out the rest of the group to take second. So win 13 seconds, 25 seconds, 35 seconds to Hershey and Zeta and Tentani, both in the group. It's going to be really good for our GC chances. 41 riders left and then a huge drop. So here is that GC now. Bargill leads by 19 seconds ahead of Lopez. Shockman slips to third, 22 seconds back, and then 51 to Conrad, to Mulan, and Carthy. 55 to Gaudu. Vanderpool at a minute one, and then we have our group ninth place with Hershey. Tintani's in it. 
and he's the end of it in 16th. So he's the last one on that time. So one good placement, and he could scoot ahead of those guys and be all the way up in ninth place. He is same time as Mark Hershey and Ainu Rubio for the under-25s and could claim it. Two stages to go. And they're both sprint stages? Well, okay then. So that's going to secure the position with the exception that maybe we can scoot up with Tentani. If we get him properly let out in a sprint, he might be able to place himself a little higher up those guys on the same time as him. If we could maybe go out and get him a sprint point, top three, that can move him up even further, but I don't uh, foresee that really being a possibility as there's a definite competition going on for the points classification and he's not going to beat any of those guys out in a sprint. Maybe we can get him into a break, but I would think he's a little too high up the GC for them to let him go. And that might be a little bit risky, so I think we're going to have to just accept that we've earned a good position and call call it good. We have picked up some World Tour points in this race. We are third in the Continental Rankings. Holy cow, Movie Star, Arkea Samsic, and then we are third with Alpacin Phoenix, Adrian Mobile, Ephapel all behind us. Super Prestige, 21st. Love it. We have already outscored last season, which was a big improvement on season one. And it's February. It's going to do it for this episode. I'm Kathleen Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there, and bye for now.